What's up guys, it's Spectre here, we're back at Fortnite. And now this mission, we have to do clear the husk for encampments and successful missions in a 9 plus zone. Now, we need to complete two missions in a 9 plus zone, so what I'm guessing is that I'm going to have to do two of these missions back to back. <laughs> but I'm only going to be re probably recording one of them, so you know, just what it is, I don't know, I might do both, who knows. So, this mission is totally new to me, you know, I've never done it, but I have to, apparently I'm doing a Ride the Lightning. I hope that this mission is a level 9, because if it's not, then this is kind of pointless, because I've already done this mission. And yeah, we'll see where things go. So, today, you know, I've actually been doing a lot to my base, and I can't wait to show you guys. Like, my base is so freaking huge, like, you guys have no idea how big my base is right now. And I've done so many things to this game, I've actually gotten a few more legendary characters survivors i uh, haven't gotten any legendary weapons yet the only legendary weapons i have is my shotgun and a wrench that i really don't even use but that's perfectly fine so right now you know i'm just going on in this load screen is taking a little while but that's fine um but yeah my base dude you guys are gonna, i can't wait to show you guys my storm base like that base looks so freaking awesome like yeah you know it looks pretty interesting i've seen some really interesting bases out there already and let me tell you this one person his base looks so weird he had an amplifier. It's something that you guys will be seeing soon. And he didn't even, like, protect it properly. He just put traps all around it and then had a ramp going to the sky. Like, what is a ramp going to the sky going to do to your base to protect your amplifier? That makes no freaking sense. So I was, like, a little baffled about seeing that. I was surprised that he even did that. But this dude, like, let me tell you something. He just put traps everywhere. And I literally mean everywhere. Which I guess is a good thing, you know, eventually I will be doing that as well, be putting traps everywhere, but, like, I'm not putting just, I'm not just gonna be placing traps randomly around the whole entire area, like, that's just stupid. You should be planning properly, you know, because what if they destroy the amplifier? What happens is your shields go down, you lose, you know, nobody knows. But, new things are coming, I'm super excited, I'm actually kind of even planning on doing a live stream, you know, gonna try to actually do some more live streams in this game and you know I've never done a live stream before so things will be really really interesting when I do and I re just really hope that you guys really enjoy my content you know I'm I really enjoy doing this it's fun I love video gaming I've been doing it ever since I was a child and you know I've always just been like well I play video games so much so that's just why I like that's just why I want to do YouTube like I'm not even after it for the money I'm just doing this because I really do enjoy it and it's really really fun you know, yeah, if I get the money and, like, I get really up there and all that stuff, cool, but I'm not after that stuff. That stuff isn't what I really want. What I want is just to be producing my gameplay, showing it with you guys, sharing it with you guys, and everything. So, like, I just really hope that you guys really do enjoy my stuff because it's, it's just fun to me, and I just really hope that you're enjoying. So, yeah, but now, right now, I'm actually doing this Find an Anomaly thing, which is, um... Uh, really interesting it's like kind of like a little mini side quest and it, it's really weird you know you have to like just break all these like little crystal things and bam you get like rewards which is awesome and it's kind of nice too because it has like a building challenge to it which isn't something that you normally like see like you know they have all these little building challenges where you create these dishes and all that stuff so i mean that's really cool now i don't really know how i'm supposed to clear a husk encampment but we'll see i honestly don't even know like if this is the right mission i don't even know what a husk encampment is but you know what just for posting this video up there is just all the, for for the fun of it you know there's so many things to do and little things to see so i just really hope that you guys do enjoy and you know i i kind of i'm still looking for people to actually you know play this game with because Honestly, like, this game is so fun, and if I find any other players who want to play this game with me, you know, I plan to uh, see if they'll do videoing with me, because, you know, the more people, the better. And right now, this is just a lot of fun, so, yeah, right now, you know, we're actually kind of looking for Lars's van, but I'm currently just focusing on getting materials, because I still need more materials. My base is really big, but I want it even bigger, you know, the bigger the better, so it's just how it works. And once I find Lars's van, you know, then I'll build up a little shack and then we'll get things going. You know, I, I don't, not entirely sure if this is the mission that I needed to do, but we'll see. I mean, if it is awesome, if it's not, oh well. It is what it is at this point. This is just another video. So, yeah, I mean, 
what are your guys' thoughts on this game? Like, I've had so many different opinions on this game so far. I wonder what your guys' thoughts on this game. Like, do you guys like the graphics? Do you guys like the way that things were built? You know, do you like how the zombies look? Do you, it's just, what is your opinion about this game? Me, my opinion about this game is that it's awesome, and I can't wait to see it and how it's going to grow. And, yeah, I hate these pitchers, though. These guys are annoying. They're the most annoying zombies probably out there. Like, I haven't even... Um, gone against like a lot of smashers like i've probably only fought like two smashers the freaking big guys that just literally destroy anything in their path so we'll see where things go for this game you know i'm always out of ammo but i'm actually starting to figure out how things work in this game so for people who don't know this and like you know they just they want to continue on this game and they want to like figure things out so like i know that somewhere in the campaign when you press up on the d-pad it shows the map if you stay still the map is c crystal clear but if you start walking it like fades out so you can see where you're going so that's a nice little neat thing for you know people to know about for this game also for this game which is really cool i'm playing on xbox and when i go to my inventory and i go to like say well, if i want to craft something right and say if I wanted to craft this trap, but I didn't have the materials, but which I do. If I press inspect, and then I go to crafting on the right, it tells me what the ingredients are. And that's amazing because, you know, most people don't really know what those ingredients are just by that picture right there. Those little pictures with the numbers, that doesn't help me anything. And then you can track it. So if you track it, like I'll show you after I destroy the stone here. So if you track this, right, it tells you in the bottom left hand corner of the screen what you need and you know how awesome that is like just the simple fact like oh you need this and when you have enough it tells you like I found that so useful and I really hope that this actually helps you guys because I, I found a few people today that didn't know about this stuff so I thought of adding that into this video as well because it's something that helped me out and it, it's really nice so I'm still looking for Lars's van you know he he's so weird he always hides his stuff in weird places um it seems like I've just gone in a circle but what is that over there there's like some like wall over there look that might be Lars over there actually I'm gonna head over there and see I think I found Lars once I did I'm going to start this base might be him it's really hard to tell right now oh no yeah I found Lars's van that was actually really easy so I'm gonna break this car right here because I need more metal the metal is what I'm mostly trying to focus on for my base I'm focusing on metal and stone not focusing on wood at all you know maybe if i'll put wood here and there just because but mostly my base is entirely made out of metal and that's all i'm focusing on and the stone is helpful as well because you know i'm not really i keep running out of metal so i go to stone as a secondary option and i've actually even upgraded so i have this upgrade tier which is really really nice about um the constructor so I can actually upgrade the walls now which I'll show with the wood you know I, it's really nice not a lot of people knew like when I was playing before I was trying to figure out how do I upgrade things it's actually a skill line that I unlock so let's see let me build up a little base real quick just to protect which will be really important because I have no idea where any of these zombies are gonna be coming from and I'll even connect it to this uh, house here which will be really useful but there's some things in my way so I gotta destroy that as well but like I said guys, like this game, it's it's just really, really awesome. Like I really do enjoy it. And I hope that I'm actually getting better as a YouTuber. I hope you guys are really enjoying it. And yeah, things are going really well for me. Um, you know, like this game is fun. I'm loving the fact that I have all these uh legendary heroes. Like I have my two legendary constructors. Or no, I actually have a third legendary constructor now, which I thought was really awesome. Um, you know, I, I kind of was hoping that it would be like a ninja or something because I already have like an outlander and stuff, but you know, it's still a legendary, um, another legendary constructor won't hurt. You know, I could probably put him in my collections book, but that depends like if he is one of the required ones for the collections book. Can't believe I just put that wall there. It's a waste, but oh well. So let's see. Do not recommend to build them as 120. Why so much? That makes no sense. Like, I don't need to build that much for something like this. We're just going to get this going. Let me upgrade this and let's give it the archway because I don't want to destroy this. I'm too lazy to destroy this. You know, always got to put those air um, ceilings up because that is the most important thing in the world is ceilings. If you don't have those ceilings up, you are screwed, guys. Literally, like, if, if those lobbers, where you don't know where they are, freaking are destroying your stuff, you, you will be, you will literally get screwed over because they can actually attack the van from above. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but here's a nice little thing I saw in a video, which I'll show. I think I did it in a previous video before, 
but I'm not 100% sure if I did or not. So I will show you right now. So on the second floor, if you actually put these up here, which you can, you just have to build them underneath. Wait, cannot place due to an obstacle. Okay, see, I can place that one. And then, like, you, there's, it just helps as added coverage for your base, which is really, really nice. And then the upgrading factor that I told you about. See how this wood looks so crappy? It costs 18 wood, and then I upgrade it, and then it becomes into planks, which is really nice. Because the zombies do a lot of damage to this stuff, and we do not want that. We don't want that at all. Time until drone crash? We can't let the husks destroy the drone. So there's a group activity, which is a salvage drone, which we will go and do, actually, which is kind of a nice little bonus feature, which it's going to land in 45 seconds. So while my team is doing that, I might as well just finish what I was doing really quick with my base. I'm going to make this part a door, and then the rest will be windows. Actually, I might change this one to being a windows just because of the position it's in. And yeah, let's give these all the windows because we got to defend from all sides. So I just love that about this game. The freaking editing, it really does help out a lot. Like, I, I don't have to worry about, oh, this is built. All right, that's it. Now, if I wanted to change something, I'd have to destroy the whole thing over again. No, I don't have to do that, which is so freaking nice. I really do like that. This will be the door. And then, let's upgrade these a little bit. I really don't care about my wood, because wood is everywhere. I've never really had a problem with wood. And, yeah, like, just keep upgrade all this to make it better. And I'm actually going to even make this even better, so watch. We'll do this. Get this a little bit more here. So I can't build it there, but what I can do is this. So I give it that extra added support. Build here, and let's see here. Basically, kind of surrounding it in a box so no lobbers can truly get it. I wonder if I could like kind of block it in. That'd be kind of funny, you know? Like build up a uh, build a ceiling right on top. That'd be interesting. And who knows what I could do? Let's do this. Give these extra. Cannot place due to an obstacle. There's an obstacle here. I guess this is the obstacle that's blocking me. So we'll destroy this really quick because that's apparently blocking me from doing whatever the hell I want. Makes no sense, but that's fine. We got this. Now can I build it? Nope. Oh, maybe it's the tree. Oh, well, I'm not really worried about that. So I think they're this, they, these guys really don't know how to keep something alive. I'm going to call in an airstrike on that once I get a little closer. Right about... think that got them, but these guys, man, they're not. Oh, look at that. See, look at this beautiful lobber right here. Oh, two lobbers. I was not expecting that one. She literally walked up to me and bitch slapped me. She was like, I hate you. Look at these guys. They don't know what to do. Let me put this here. That'll keep them off of it for a little bit. That's my decoy. I really like my decoy. That's a really nice feature of the constructor. So now I'm going to grab all this stuff because I want it all, and I need it all, and my shields can handle it all, so... Oh, these bees really did kill me, but I got a lot of resources out of that, so I am super happy. That makes me really happy. Now I'm going to head back to Lars. I'm pretty much done building the base because I'm pretty much just going to end up, you know, just fighting with my guns and swords. And I really don't feel like wasting traps because I mostly use all my traps for my base and my storm base because that's more important than this mission to me. So I can actually even upgrade to a tier 3, which I've actually never done before, so this will be new. So let's upgrade this to a tier 3 and see how it looks. Look at that, it looks like, like really beautiful wood. Like I like the difference, so we got tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. So tier 1 wood is at 190 health, tier 2 is 430, and tier 3 is at 665. That is awesome, guys. So I activated the van, we gotta defend the van, we gotta defend them twice in a row. Now... As I've said before, I'm almost 100% sure now that this is not the mission that I thought it would have been for my uh, mission that I had to do, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. This is something that is just what's going to happen. So we got all the zombies attacking now, which is perfectly fine. They're going to be trying their best to destroy my base, but they're, ooh, wow, they're actually kind of hitting hard over here. They've got a beehive, that's why. I don't see the beehive zombie. Here he is. Get rid of him. Good. Beehive off of him, and now he is dead. Good. We are safe from the beehives. 
I hate those so much. They're really annoying. I mean, actually, you know what? Screw it. Turn this into a door. So the person can come in. And then let's repair this. Because they're like, oh, let's just, you know, not repair. You know, what? why, why aren't you repairing? That's kind of the whole point of this base. You're supposed to repair it. It's just wood. It's nothing special. Wish I could. That's the thing that I don't like about playing with other players, though, that don't have mics. Because... They don't know what they're doing. Like they're just like, oh, let's just attack, 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 attack. Let's not worry about. Hey, this is being attacked. We should probably repair it. It's like, no, I don't think of that at all. I do love the simple fact that I could play as the, I could use a sword for all my characters. That is really nice. You know, it's not something that I actually have to worry about. Um, of the being only the ninja that does it, which would have been really kind of lame. At least they allow all the other characters to use the swords and stuff. And, yeah, I mean, things are just going pretty decent so far, other than these players not knowing how to actually upgrade or repair defenses, you know. I mean, look at that, they put a trap there. Alright, I guess the trap is going to help a bit. It's, it's, I just find it a waste, honestly, using traps, unless if, like, it's a really hard mission. But this mission is not hard. Look at the levels of the zombies. Like, they're not even... I don't even know. I can't even tell that one. That one didn't tell me. Let's see. I got a level zombie over here. I like how that one zombie's like, trying to avert, and he's like, I'm going to destroy this fence. It would help me a lot easier. Ooh. Date. Upgraded it to stone. I guess that got destroyed without them. Really? Anyway, so here's level two of stone. Now I'm curious on what level three is for stone, so I'm actually gonna upgrade that. I know it's not needed, but to go. gonna do that either way. Look at this over here. No one's even watching it. Could have died. All right. So this is level two of stone, and now let's check out level three, guys. Oh, what is that noise? Level 3 of stone looks really nice, though. Look how secure that looks. Oh, my God. Like, look at the door. That looks really nice. I, I like that a lot. But now, I'm, it makes me curious on what a level 3 freaking metal defense looks like. Oh, I need more blue glow. I don't have any. I only have one. Yeah, we do need a little more blue glow. But if this idiot moves, you know what? This is the beauty of the game right here, guys. When you have idiots who are blocking your path, you make another door. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. The door is absolutely useless, though, which is kind of funny. But he was in my way, so that's why I did that. Build that back. Look at this. Being destroyed, being destroyed. This one hasn't even been touched yet, but I don't think it can. Activate the van. What are you guys doing? So look at that, though. The level 3 stone looks amazing. Like, I really like it. I'm excited. Really, really excited. And I wonder if there's even a higher tier, you know, like higher than level 3. So these are actually level 9. So this is the right area like you know the zombies are level nine but where's the husk encampment i don't know i don't even know what a husk encampment looks like so i have my airdrop back which is a really nice feature which there's actually more skill lines or skills that makes me able to use it more and you know be able to do certain things with it but i'm i'm, I'm just really happy with this game I really am. Kind of wish though, like, they would spawn in more zombies at once because, like, I'm using an airstrike for so little zombies and it, I, I feel like it's kind of wasting a little bit. So, wow, they actually destroyed that. Alright. It, it was sooner or later that they were going to end up destroying these fences that were there. I was kind of trying to hope, kind of hoping that they weren't going to, but, you know, it happens. Let's open this door the base because look at this they're not even repairing this stuff they're lucky that i don't care about my wood oh we got a zombie right outside hello it was fred fred wasn't happy you know they're like you don't know how to defend so i'm gonna try and destroy your base i really want this van to go up in the air already look at this look at this look at this no one's watching this at all and it's a fatty too i got him Right, I'm gonna drop a supply drop. Look at these zombies. They're getting smart. They're like, let's destroy this fence on the side. 
because why not? Damn, that's a lot of health for a stone wall. 1,000? I like. Alright, I'm gonna drop this here because it's added supplies for me. There we go. Love that extra supply drop stuff. But, you know. Oh! Oh, they brought in a smasher. Look at that. I asked and I received. And you wanna know something? He's going to receive an airstrike. I don't know if that killed him. Nope, the freaking teammate moved him. Epic fail. Oh my lord. That was ridiculous. I can't believe the teammate literally just did that. Alright, we got him. But come on, guys. Like, you saw the airstrike coming in. I know you did. Why did you let them do that? Look at this. This thing is like being destroyed again. Love this. I hate random. But that's okay. It happens in games. At least we're not losing. How did the... Wait, what? How did the van take damage? I don't understand this. I hope it's not a lobber. Because if it is, I'm going to be really pissed off. Look at this. They're destroying metal. I can't even reach him. They didn't even build it with windows. Like, come on, guys. It's like, if you're gonna build something, build it properly. Don't just place a wall to protect it. Like, you guys gotta build, like, a window or something to actually give it its true defense. Look at this. Over here. Wide open, guys. Wide open. Can't trust people. But it's fine, we survived. The van made it, we made it. Still don't know where the husk encampments are, but that's okay. This van took damage. It did not survive. It's, I'm trying to be launched off with it, but it's not letting me. Sad face. Well, goodbye, Lars. I hope you have a good day. He always does! But alright, guys, that was a fun mission. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, it was. I wasn't something that I expected it to be, but, you know, at least we did it. I'm surprised that it was kind of the same mission. I thought it was going to be something totally different that I had to do. But, all right, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did, and I hope you all have a great day. See ya!